Hi guys! Happy Monday and welcome back to my channel Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Target about to run in here and do some deals. So I'm going to walk you through the deals in the store and then we'll go over my receipt once we get all done. Plus I'll have a printable list below the video so you can print that out, take it to the store with you and it's going to help make your shopping trip super easy. So definitely excited to do some deals today. Maybe get some more Dove products. Um, my favorite vitamins are on sale. So that is awesome as well. So let's go ahead, head in here, check out out the deals and if you are completely new to my channel welcome thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones <laughs> Right, guys so the first deal we're picking up is on the alive vitamins so these are the ones right here they're a 60 count they're $8.99 here at my store and we have a 30% off target circle offer I'm gonna go ahead and get both of the ones that they had left because I love these but if you take 30% off of $8.99 your price should be around $6.29 and on Ibotta you're getting back $2 and $4 because we have two offers attaching to this so that would make the final cost about 29 cents for these so I was testing some deals in my online cart this morning and it was showing these q-tips it was showing it as an online only deal but it's tagged here in the store they're 329 part of the buy three get a five dollar gift card deal so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these of course there are many other items you can grab if you don't want these but I'm gonna go ahead and get these and one other item to do this buy three get five deal so the next item we're going to pick up is one of the clean and clear. So this one I saw online for $4.99. They do have another one over here for $4.99 as well, depending on what you want to pick up. We have a $2 digital coupon that will take it down to $2.99. All right, guys, so here's my three items. My total is $11.57 with these. If we take off the $2 for the clean and clear, it'll make it $9.57. Get back a $5 gift card, making the final cost $4.57. Now, you could do it where you can get it cheaper with the clean and clear. You could mix and match other like facial care products or skincare products. But this is just what I'm going to pick up because I normally don't get a deal on the Q-tips. So I figured it's a good time to get them. All right, you guys, you know that I picked up some Dove Kids last week, and we're going to pick some up again this week. So they're priced for $5.99. If you don't want the kids one, you can get regular body wash. But you can see right here, it shows buy any one Dove body wash, 13.5 ounce or larger. Then you get the men's one for free. And these kid ones are 13.5 ounce. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab some of the Dove Men. So they have these for $5.99, but they have these up here for $6.99, and we have an Ibotta rebate for these. So we are going to go ahead and look at the scenario right here. So all of these products total us $25.96 before coupons. We are going to go ahead and just assume that it's going to take off the lowest amount of $5.99 each for the two uh, kids one. So if it were to take off $5.99 twice, our total would be $13.98. Then we're going to get a five dollar gift card back 250 for each of the men's body wash on ibotta and a dollar 50 for each of the kids body wash on ibotta that would end up making our final cost 98 cents for all four maybe less so i also found this little hang tag for three months free of headspace i don't even know exactly what that is but you can get that when you buy dub men's products all right, guys, so the next thing we're looking at is the Nature's Bakery Baked In. These are two for $5 this week, and we have Ibotta rebates for these for $1.50 on each. So I don't know which one Axel would like more, but they both look really good. So I think I'm going to get one of each. After we get back $1.50 each on Ibotta, that's $3. So it's going to make these just two for $2. All right, guys, I think we are ready to head to the self-checkout. I've got everything that I want to pick up this week, so stay tuned. We are going to go over the receipts here in just a minute and talk final cost of all of our items. So it is really busy in here, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick that it showed that it's taking off $6.49 for one of the Dove coupons and $5.99 for the other. So no coupon beeps at all, but she did have to come and grab my Dove coupons to collect them and she wanted to make sure that it was okay, so she went to ask someone. 
right guys, so we are back in the car from Target. So the transactions went well. I did two separate transactions. Couldn't record much at the self-checkout because they were super, super busy. Plus the cashier, she was talking to me some, like just making conversation while I was checking out because my um, self-checkout station was like right next to where she stands. So anyways, um, I've had her before. She's really nice. Um, if any coupons, um, like when, well, when you scan your coupons at Target, I didn't have any coupon beeps. The Dove coupons went through fine for the body wash for the kids and for the men, so that was really awesome. Um, but at Target, when you're using self-checkout, they do have to come and collect your coupons. So when it said it was time for her to collect my coupons, she came over and she picked them up. She looked at the coupons, and I don't think she's like super familiar with coupons, and she's afraid that she might get in trouble if something doesn't go in right. So, I mean, I totally understand that. I wouldn't want anybody to get in trouble. That's why I try to follow the rules and all of that so um, she picked up the two body wash the men's body wash and the kids body wash and she was like hold on just a second let me just make sure that they say it's fine so I was like okay you know so I was a little worried because I was like oh man I was like what if they say I can't use my coupon even though it's fine and it is for the right items but um, she went over and she asked either another employee or manager and they said yes it's fine she bought the right sizes of the Dove products so she brought it back and was like okay it's no problem so then she just inserted the coupons and cleared the little message off the screen that says cashiers collecting the coupons <laughs> so anyways that was fine and then then I did my next transaction and that one had um, all the other stuff with my 5 off 25. So we're going to head home. We're going to look over the receipt. Going to talk about a couple of important, important things for both transactions. So let's go ahead and check out these receipts and talk final cost. All right guys, so I am back home and this is my Target haul for this week. I did two separate transactions, so I'm gonna show you the first one and then we'll go over my second transaction. So I do wanna say on my very first transaction, I did all the Dove products right here and I actually wanna say shout out to Coupon Wins with Lens and Saving with Sarah. I saw Sarah post that Coupon Wins with Lens was telling her that it may work if you do a buy one get one free coupon at Target by paying with cash instead of using like your red card or something like that. Now a lot of times when I'm at Target I do pay with my red card. Occasionally I pay with my PayPal debit card. So um, I think it would probably work with a regular debit card as well but it has something to do with the red card and the gift card taking off the value of our buy one get one free coupons and as you guys know that happens a lot at Target when you have a buy one get one free coupon it normally doesn't give you the whole amount and it's so frustrating. So um, I saw that tip that she posted over on Instagram so before I went I went ahead and was like okay I'm gonna try that see what happens so I didn't type in my phone number or anything for this transaction you may be able to but I didn't because I had a five off of 25 that I was going to use on my next one. So we're going to go ahead and look at the receipt on this one. So you can see right here, I had the four Dove items, the printer on their um, receipt thing. <laughs> I think they're running out of ink because it's not as good quality as normal. But you can see um, they were $6.99, the two men's, and then $5.99 for the two kids' body wash. Now, you can see my paper coupon. It took off $5.99 off one, and it took $6.49 off one. So $6.49 is the max value of the coupon. So it should take off $6.49 twice since we're buying two of the men's and two of the kids. And the men's are the ones that are supposed to be free on the coupon. But a lot of times on those coupons, it doesn't give you the one for free that it says it's going to, if that makes sense so um it did take off the max value on one but it took $5.99 on the other but that's fine because I was just accounting for it to take $5.99 twice just in case so I knew what I would be looking at so it actually came out better than I thought it would so right here um you can see my subtotal was $13.48 now guys I have no idea what this part means it's so weird because if you look right here it shows my tax okay but it actually subtracted 39 cents. So it's like it didn't charge me tax, which is super weird because when I was doing this transaction, when I was about to check out, I think it said my total was gonna be like $16 with tax because my tax is kind of high. She came over, she approved the coupons, and then I hit pay. After I hit pay, my total went down, which I thought was weird. So anyways, I only ended up paying $13.09. I am not sure why because it shows like 
tax on negative $4 and then it says minus 39 cents but that makes no sense because that was never my total so I don't know you guys but I paid $13.09 I went ahead and I paid with cash and then with that being said oh well I guess since there's no tax on it I normally fold my receipt because um you know tax can be confusing because it's different for everyone but there's no tax on it so let me just show you um so you can see right here it literally was a negative amount so my total was $13.09 I used $20 in cash and then I got back $6.91 so I don't know what was going on with that but anyways on that um <clears throat> with that being said I got back the $5 gift card then on I bought it. I got back a total of two fifty dollars for each one of the men's and $1.50 for each of the kids' body wash. So that was a total of $8 back from I bought it. So this transaction actually ended up a final cost for me of $0.09. Cents. So, and that was including them subtracting that $0.39. Cents. Otherwise, it would have been like $0.48. Cents. So I don't know, you guys, but that was my final cost for that one. So I'm not going to complain. It worked out really nicely. Um, then let's see here. My next transaction, I went ahead and did all of this together because I had that five off of 25 coupon. So that is on your Target Circle wallet. You can clip it, but it is a coupon that varies by account. Some of you guys told me that you got a 10 off of 50. Some of you got five off 25. Some people got a five off of 25 um, toy purchase. So mine was just five off of 25 in general. So not all accounts will get that, but if you did, then your totals will be the same as me. If not, you just calculate, you calculate for $5 higher. So I'll go over the totals with you both ways. Now on this one right here, we were doing a buy three, get a $5 gift card deal. And online it was showing like this deal was only good for pickup but it was tagged in the store when I went. So I went ahead and tried it out and it did work just fine. So I got two of the Q-tips at $3.29. I got the clean and clear. It was the $4.99 was like the cheapest one you could get. And then I got my favorite vitamins and I got some of these Nature's Bakery baked in. Let me know if you've tried these or your kids have tried these because they look pretty good. So hopefully we'll like them. But here's my receipt on this one. So you can see it right here. Those ring up two for $5. Um, the 30% off Target Circle offer, it made each of the vitamins $6.68. Then the Clean and Clear for $4.99 had a $2 digital coupon. And the Q-tips were $3.29 each, so two was $6.58. So my subtotal was $27.93. And then my $5 off store coupon came off. That was the five off 25. And then I got 24% in red savings because I did type in my phone number on this one. So that way I could go ahead and use those coupons on my uh, Target Circle wallet and all of that. Now, on this one, I also submitted over to Ibotta. On Ibotta, like I've shown you guys in my Walmart haul videos and um, even on Walgreens, the Alive Vitamins are attaching to two different rebates. They're the exact same rebate, so it's giving you $4 and $2 for each one. So that gives you back $6 on each one, so I got back $12 for the vitamins. And then for the Nature's Bakery, I got back $1.50 on each of these, so that was $3 back. So total on this one, we got back, let's see here, how much was that? $15 from Ibotta and the $5 gift card for this deal. So the final cost ended up being $2.69 for that whole transaction. Sorry, my dogs are kind of loud. Um, but overall today, everything you see right here only cost me $2.78. So that was amazing. I am super, super happy with how the transaction went. Um, like I said, I paid with cash on this one, but on this one, I used gift cards to pay. So I think it only ended up costing me $4 out of pocket, and that was with tax um yeah so that was everything that i picked up let me know in the comments below if you're gonna do any of these same deals don't forget to grab your printable list below the video and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys